okay, this is that Ukraine Russia debacle. I mean, Russia's just taken over and the world's letting them do it. So this 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 video is going to be about that. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So apparently Russia just makes the rules over there. Um, you know, they said, I want some of this uh, property over here. I'm going to tell my uh, government to say, yeah, they're independent and we'll move and take care of them and then we'll take them over and then we'll flood the whole country and take the Ukraine back. Right? So these are the Tarot de Marseille and uh, these date from around 1760. These are actually uh, Los Caravillo cards. These and a, um, a numbered edition a set. So I don't know. Um, I'll show you the little uh, guidebook that comes with them. So, so this is a uh, Tarot de Marseille in the style of 1760, and uh, this uh, this pack is number 1415 out of uh, 2,999 uh, sets that were made. So I don't know if that'll ever mean anything, but the little guidebook that comes with it is kind of cool, and it gives you uh, you know some kind of a story in here to uh, to tell you about the cards and and what their background is and and uh, the original blocks they were made from. So yeah, something interesting to look at. Um, the cards, I love. But the problem with these is that if you don't know your tarot, I mean, you could have a hard time making some divinations. You'll see that uh, the uh, court cards and the uh, major arcana, most of them are kind of, you could figure them out not too without too much trouble, but the rest of them could be kind of cryptic. So. But this is what, uh, presumably, Tarachi cards for uh, just playing games uh, would look like at that time, the uh, uh, late 18th, 18th century. So, that's where we are with these. Okay, so this is going to be uh, Vladimir Zelensky versus uh, Vladimir Putin, Volodymyr. Zelensky versus Vladimir Putin. And uh, my one question, this will be a full Celtic cross, is can Vladimir Zelensky beat Vladimir Putin and shake that tick off his back? Putin being the tick. One thing we know about a tick is that uh, I don't think they survive after they've bitten you. So, um, I think that's the case. So can Zelensky shake Putin off his back. Before we do that, for just a moment, meditation. Okay. So Zelensky, can he shake Vladimir off his back? Full Celtic cross. Shuffle these cards quite a bit before I turn the camera on. So I feel like they're pretty well ready. Okay. Six cards first and then another four. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Can Zelensky shake Putin off his back? Okay, first card, signifier, two, four, six, eight, nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is very um, satisfactory. It's a, it's a card that tells us that, um, you know, it's uh, wealth, it's health, 
It's the winning. It's the card that usually shows a maiden uh, really uh, dressed up in all of her finery and with lots of um, uh, uh, the evidence of her wealth around her. So this is um, Zelensky. The challenge to that is the king of swords. Well, this is Putin, obviously. So this is the king of swords. Swords being truth, justice, rules, and law. But in this case, I think um, this king is, um, is just having to do with fighting. Although I hate to say that because, you know, I don't usually give a negative um, definition of a card. The king of swords, truth, justice, rules, law. All the wealth challenged by the king of swords. Everything he needs challenged by the king of swords. I may reverse this. I may say this is Russia and this is Zelensky. But for now, we'll just keep it the same. The same. This uh, uh, prosperous card here. It represents Zelensky, Ukraine, Zelensky specifically, and this uh, King of Swords uh, is going to represent uh, Putin. Okay. The base of this reading then is this uh, Four of Wands. Yes, this is Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is kind of short-term celebrations. That's interesting. The past of this reading then is the uh, Three, Six, Nine, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups again being um, you know wishes fulfilled. Interesting. Uh, the sky in this reading, uh, the star. Wow, this is hope. Wow. And then the final outcome for this, uh, the Four of Cups, is uh, kind of being offered something that you don't particularly want. And this is, happens to be on the side of the card that I've assigned to Vladimir Putin. Interesting. Let's see what the last four cards uh, have to tell us, and then I'll go back and read this uh, as one uh, thought. Okay, and the question is, can Zelensky get Putin off his back. The um, self of that question is force. Look at that. Strength. That's excellent. The um, environment that that strength is in is in this Knight of Cups, the Knight of Compassion. This is Zelensky. He is a Knight of Compassion. I'm sad to see that this Knight's compassionate face looks so sad, but he's got a great big cup of uh, compassion that he's holding. The Hopes of the fears then with this three of uh, wands. Three of wands is long term planning. Okay. And then the final outcome for whether Zelensky can shake Putin off his back is the sun. And the sun is shining a light on the situation. And it's a big yes card. So, yeah, I think that he will be able to get out from under Putin. So let's read it again like I told you I would. Okay, so this nine of coins is very fruitful, very prosperous, having all the value that you need, uh, period. And it's challenged by this king of swords, which I'm sorry, in this instance, this isn't necessarily truth just uh, truth and justice rules and law. I think this is the fighting uh, image of uh, Putin. And in the, um, in the base of this reading... Uh, which, if you want to take a twisted turn, could be Putin's belief that he is in the right. Uh, it's his uh, privilege uh, to be able to do what he's doing right now. Uh, the base of this reading, then, with this Four of Swords, is uh, short-term celebrations. And the past of this reading, with this Ten of Cups, is, uh, you know, just familiar, familial uh, uh, optimism, okay, and hope. And then the sky of the thing is, in fact, the star, which is hope. The likely outcome of the first part of this being this Four of Cups being offered something that you don't particularly want. And this, I think, is connected with uh, Putin right here. Uh, the self of that question is, will Zelensky beat Putin off his back? Is fourth, is strength. And it's uh, in the environment of this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Compassion. This is Zelensky. And then the um, um, hopes and the fears for this, with his three of wands, are long-term plans. Zelensky hopes that his long-term plans will, will win out. And then the final uh, outcome of the whole thing is this uh, star, which is uh, the ultimate in hope and a big yes card. So, yeah, I think Zelensky will somehow be able to come out of this. I hope I'm right. And even if I'm eventually wrong, I don't regret having uh, read this these cards this way at all. I don't know. It seems to me like Russia can't be stopped. What do you think? I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.